join kids hat family hi tofu should we go play hi hmm actually my friends are waiting for me Hey guys. Hi, Hi dear. dear. Anyone wants to hear a story? Yes. 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 Okay. Peacock and the crane. Once upon a time, There was a really beautiful peacock and he knew that he was beautiful. Look at my tail. Has anyone ever had such a beautiful tail? My feathers are so gorgeous. All the animals disliked it when the peacock behaved like that. but he didn't care one day he came across a crane hello crane hello have you seen my feathers and tail aren't they beautiful yes it is I agree. It's the best. Unlike your pale tail, so colorless and boring. I on the other hand look like a king. Yes, that may be so. But can your lovely feathers help you to fly? Like I can? High in the sky. Amongst the clouds and the stars. high enough to see the beauty of the earth i think not you just stay here close to the ground like an ordinary cock the peacock had nothing to say to the crane he no longer felt as proud of his feathers as he used to and he realized that there was more to life than just looking beautiful It's a great story, dear, and I realize I must go apologize to someone. I thought you might feel that way after hearing the story. Well, please excuse me for a moment. Is everything fine, Tofu? No. How can everything be fine? We were in the gym class when Josh and his friends came to me and started making fun of me. They made fun of you? Why? Because they all are taller and faster than me. Well, they should be. They are much older to you, Tofu. Everybody knows that, but it was so embarrassing, Tia. 
What are you going to do now? What can I do? Hmm. Well, let's get your mind off this nonsense. I read something interesting in school today. Should I tell you? Hmm. I guess. One day, a horse saw a snail in the meadow. Look at you! You are so slow! Hmm. The snail did not like the way the horse spoke to him. But he decided to ignore his mean comments. But the horse went on and on. Where are you going? And when do you think you'll reach there? I don't understand why you need to make fun of me all the time. Well, look at yourself. It takes you so long to get from one place to another. I would run miles in that time. I suggest we both get on with our business and day. You know, I have an idea. Let's race. The snail thought about it for a moment. He had a plan. <coughs> okay, sure. Let's do that. How about this Sunday morning? Okay, we will race this Sunday. After the horse had left, the snail gathered all the other snails and told them what had happened. He also told them his plans. Everybody agreed and when Sunday came, they met very early in the morning. Okay everyone, spread out from the starting point of the race till the ending point. Everyone hide all along the race track. And so the snail spread out. When it was time for the race, the horse arrived. Soon the race started. The horse took off striding. After a while, he looked down and he was surprised to see the snail right in front of him. How did you get here? I must run faster. And so the horse started running. After some time he looked down and yet again saw a snail ahead of him. How is this possible? How can you be ahead of me? I will run even faster. The horse started running even faster. When he looked down again after some time, he saw the snail there again. 
This is impossible. I will run the fastest I can. Now the horse took off as fast as he could. As he neared the finishing line, he looked down, but he saw a snail crossing the finishing line. Tired and humbled, the horse gave up. I am so sorry. I underestimated you and made fun of you. Please forgive me for my arrogance. All the snails who had hidden along the race course and fooled the horse into believing that they were the same snail that he was racing heard this and laughed quietly from their hiding spots. What a wonderful story, Tia! Isn't it? I loved it too. And you know what, Tia? I know what to do about Josh and his friends. I'm feeling so much better. Oh really? What will you do? I won't get into a fight or get upset by what they say. I will just use my brains instead of muscles. Well, that sounds like a good idea to me, Tofu. Thanks, dear. I'm going to my friend's house to make a plan. Bye. Bye, Tofu. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Heart family. Subscribe here.